Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to FNAF News! Basically, everything we're talking about today is kinda small, except for one big thing at the end of the video. And one big thing right now, hey, this video is brought to you by my Twitch channel. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know, I stream over on Twitch every now and then. I recently got affiliate, which I'm super proud of. Thank you guys so much for showing your support on the Twitch streams. So, if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy hanging out with me, and go over to the Twitch channel. It'll be linked down below, please go check it out. Uh, we have a great community over there. If you don't want to go to Twitch, that's perfectly fine. I have a VODs channel, it's called Johnny Blocks Live. I'll leave it linked down below as well. Or if you just care about me on the Johnny Blocks channel, then subscribe, goddammit, and smash the like button too. All right, let's hop into the first topic. So the first topic is a little bit old, it's about a week old, and this comes from U2s. If you guys missed it not too long ago, it was announced that FNAF is getting some U2s figurines. And we got an update last week when U2s did a Ask Me Anything over on their subreddit. Reddit, someone asked, any updates you can give us on the FNAF collection? And U2's responded with, it's in the design concept stage right now, we'll probably share some artwork soon. And another person asked, expected FNAF drop date? And U2's replied with, we're not sure on the drop date just yet probably in the summer. So that's really exciting. Not only are we probably gonna get some art of it soon, they're also gonna be dropping in the summertime, which is a couple months away, but it's fine. We're gonna have to wait. At this point, with Security Breach, we've gotten pretty used to waiting. This is something I'm so excited for. I bought all three of the FNAF YouTubers collections of Darko, 8-Bit Ryan, and Razbowski. I freaking love those figurines. So I can't wait to see some of Freddy, Springtrap, whatever characters they make. We don't know who they're making just yet. Moving on to some book news now. We have an update on the Cliffs, which is Fazbear Freud's book number seven, and also an update on the Puppet Carver, which is uh, Fazbear Freud's book number nine. So quickly talking about number seven, the Cliffs. Apparently, the book's out now in select stores. I don't know why this keeps happening. I'm guessing it's probably just a release date issue going on with Scholastic. So over the past couple of days, a few people over on the Reddit have been able to get their hands on an early copy of Fazbear Freud's number seven, The Cliffs. They posted pictures of some of the inside pages on the back page. I don't want to cover them right now because I don't want to spoil the book for anyone, but let it be known that the book is out now in some select stores. And if your store doesn't have it just yet, don't worry, it releases very soon on March the 2nd. And now for the Puppet Carver, which is book number nine, you know, the book that has that cover of the three terrifying looking dolls. I also missed that in my video analyzing the cover. The one in the middle actually has a black top hat. It's just behind the text, so I missed that. But yeah, apparently there's going to be an exclusive cover for the book being released by Books A Million. I'm telling you boys right now, this is amazing. It's so simplistic, but I think it looks amazing. Basically, it's the normal cover, except it's got a tear through the middle of it, and all the other parts of the cover are like inverted colors. Again, it, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but I think it looks really cool. I wish they had done something special like this with all the books, because having number 9 be the only one so far, who knows, maybe number 10 and 11, and god, if Scott does more, <laughs> maybe they'll all uh, from now on have these special looking covers. But having number nine be the one that, you know, it, it, it's, it's a little, little bit weird. But yeah, still, I think it looks incredible. I do hope that they keep doing this with the rest of the Fazbear Fright books. Maybe even they'll go back and do some exclusives for the past books. I kind of doubt it, though, seeing as those books have already been released. I don't know. But again, this is exciting, and I hope they keep doing this, because I think it looks awesome. We've been going pretty fast, which is perfectly fine. You know, I don't want to take up too much of your time. But now, let's talk about security breach. So if you didn't know, PlayStation is having yet another PlayStation State of Play, which is happening in two days on February the 25th. It's going to be happening at 2 p.m. PT, which is 5 p.m. EST. Now, uh, I'm, I'm bringing this up because, well, it's not confirmed that we're going to get stuff uh, of security breach in this state of play, it's it's not out of the, the realm of possibility. I know, there's gonna be a lot of people saying, oh, but we're already getting a trailer in March, why would they release another one, like, a couple weeks before that? And I think the logic behind that is that Scott said we're getting a gameplay trailer. This could very well be yet another showcase trailer of the graphics, of the locations in the mall, but at the same time, again, we are getting a gameplay trailer in March. So who knows, maybe they don't want to do a third showcase video and they want their third uh, trailer to be of the gameplay. Based on the reception of the past two trailers we've gotten, I know, the second one was a tech demo, 
I'm calling it a trailer for simplistic sake, okay? They might want to hold off and just release the gameplay trailer a couple weeks after this, which I, I, I don't know, man. I think it's unlikely, being honest, I think it's unlikely we get something in this state of play, but it's also not impossible. But at this point, we've seen the graphics on PS5, we've seen it on PC, we've seen several locations in the establishment, so I feel like really all we're missing right now is just gameplay, right? We've heard some voice lines, we've even seen some characters, we just need gameplay at this point. So I'm guessing we probably won't get something on the 25th, instead they'll wait till March for the gameplay trailer, this is all speculation by the way, and then I'm guessing in that gameplay trailer we should get a release date. Cause it's like, you know, again, we've had two other trailers which show which were basically the same thing panning zooms of the establishment with a few characters to the side a few voice lines in the background but no real gameplay and i'm gonna have to stop you right there recording johnny blocks that's right it's me editing johnny blocks back at it again so uh steerwall just made a tweet they replied to darko darko asked hey steerwall we getting anything for the state of play on the 25th and steerwall they replied with which makes us think that, okay, we're getting something on the 25th. I really hope they're not pulling an Illumix right now and getting our hopes up for nothing, because goddammit, Steerwall, you've already got like half the community after you for not releasing Security Breach last year. You don't want to make it any worse. Now, I think because we know that we are getting a gameplay trailer in March, and we know that we are getting a appearance we're gonna have to say, again, I, I don't want to call it a trailer at this point because, I mean, what Scott said, you know? The official trailer 2 is gonna be the gameplay trailer, and again, that's coming in March. So, on the 25th, it seems like we are getting a appearance of Security Breach somehow. Whether it be another tech demo, maybe like a couple new jump scares, a good look at the characters, I don't know. I'm not gonna get my hopes too high because, I mean, again, we only have to wait a couple more weeks then we get the gameplay trailer, so let's not get too excited. But we are definitely getting something now because I swear to God, if they just put this little thinking face, I was like, oh geez, I don't know guys, maybe you could get some Like, we gotta get something at this point. Still, well, I swear to God, if you're, if you're joshing us, I don't like you. It's like, they, they know that the community is upset because they're like, oh, I don't want to wait any longer for the game. So for them to lie uh, for an appearance like this, I don't know, it just seems off. So I think we're getting something now, which is very exciting. So I'll be doing a stream on the YouTube channel on the 25th at uh, probably a little bit before five when it starts. And I hope we get some good things there. So that's it for me. Back to recording, John and Blocks. Let's go. So I'm guessing in March, we'll get that gameplay trailer. We'll get a release date, maybe a price, but I, I don't know about that one. A few people have been asking me about what I think the price is going to be. I don't think it's going to be more than like 50 bucks. Even still, like 50 bucks, that's a lot of money. But when you look at what game they're making, the 40 to 50 dollar range, maybe as low as 30, but I doubt it, seeing as Help Wanted was 30, and Security Breach is 100%. 200, 300% bigger than Help Wanted. I'm pretty sure Scott said it was like three times as big, so yeah, 300% as big. But yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, not many big topics to talk about, but again, a few ones that I did want to talk about because I know people are going to be asking about the book. People are going to be asking about an update on the YouTubes, and there's already people speculating about if we're going to see anything on the 25th. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. We just, we just hit 15k which is incredible, and on that same day, we also had our first Twitch stream as a affiliate. By the way, another selfless plug, go follow my Twitch. I'm not telling you to like drop a sub or anything, though. No, I'm just kidding. If, if you guys could go follow it, that would be absolutely amazing. I'm also happy to announce that the 15K special is coming out this weekend. It's gonna be a doozy. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.